Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make what I call farmer's cupcakes. Now this is an example of one of the recipes that is in my new online baking class. So I'll link to that below, but after you watch this recipe um, and this video, if you like that and you want to learn how to make more gluten-free and dairy-free treats at home, you can sign up for my online baking class. So let's get started. The PDF of this recipe will be attached and the vanilla buttercream that you're gonna frost the farmer's cupcakes with is one of the recipes. I share my vanilla dairy-free vanilla buttercream recipe as part of the online baking class library. So that's one of the videos that you'll get in there. So this is a little teaser for you. Okay, for the farmer's cupcakes, to start off, you're going to um, prep your muffin tin, obviously, and which I have back there. So it's gonna make 17 cupcakes. And then in a small cup, you're gonna dissolve the instant coffee, two teaspoons of instant coffee with one tablespoon of hot water. So I've already done that and you're gonna stir it up till it dissolves and then you're gonna set that aside. Then you're gonna to cream together the oil and the brown sugar. So we've got three fourths a cup or plus one tablespoon or 175 grams of grapeseed oil. And I'm baking by weight, so I've got a scale under here that I'm watching. Makes for less dishes. <laughs> And then three fourths a cup plus one tablespoon or 175 grams of brown sugar. And you're going to stir that together. Next, you're going to add three beaten eggs. Which I've already beaten here, plus your 175 grams of gluten-free flour blend, a tablespoon of psyllium husk powder, Two teaspoons of baking powder. And a fourth a teaspoon of salt. Going to blend all that together till it's well mixed. Now you're going to fold in the coffee. You're gonna add your coffee and your chopped pecans. So I've got two thirds of a cup or 80 grams of chopped pecans. So I just put them in a baggie and chopped them up real good with the rolling pin. So you can whack them with a rolling pin or a mallet and then stir that in. Perfect, now you're ready to scoop into your muffin cups. All right, here I am with my muffin tin. I actually have one that does 24 cupcakes at the same time, so I went ahead and used that. Also, if you're using a dark pan like this, you're gonna want to heat your oven to 325 instead of 350. So it will just depend on what kind you're using. I am using a one, a one fourth a cup cookie scoop also. Makes the scooping a little bit easier. Three tablespoons, which is written in the recipe, is what you're gonna use. So 
I will link it below. And so instead of the four tablespoon one, I'm going to use this. So I got to fix the muffin cups, but you're going to use the three tablespoon scoop. Okay, so once you have evenly filled your muffin liners, then you will bake at 350 degrees or 325 if you have a dark pan. So there you have it. There are your farmer's cupcakes. And you will let it cool in the pan for 10 minutes and then put it on the cooling rack to cool completely. And then once they're completely cooled, you can frost them with buttercream frosting. And remember, if you want the dairy-free buttercream frosting that I use, you'll find that in my online baking class library. So if you're interested in that, then go check out my online baking class. And I hope that you enjoy these cupcakes. And if you make them, make sure to take a picture and put it on social media for me and tag, tag me in it. I'd love to see you baking with your family and enjoying these cupcakes.